I'm back. My name is Mr. Yusilito, and today we have recorded lesson. Our topic is reflecting shape. Now, for our learning objectives, we had students should be able to draw the image of the shape after reflection at x or y axis as mirror line. Predict where a polygon will be after one reflection and identify the coordinates of the image. Of course, apply knowledge in reflecting shape in creating and solving problem. So let's start. Let's have our vocabulary. When we say reflection, it is a mirror image of a shape. The line about which the shape is reflected is called the mirror line. So let's say, for example, this uh, pink uh, square is reflected on this mirror line. So the image of this shape is the green one. Now, as you can see, the letter has a straight line on top, which is called, which indicates that this shape are mirror image, are mirror image. Okay, this is the image, and this is the original shape. All right, this is the original shape. Okay, the shape is the same size, the same looks as the image. Okay, now A become A prime. This is read as A prime. All right. B is here, then B is at the back, and then C at this, at this uh, position. So they are image of each other. The line is the mirror line. All right. Now, the vertices of the triangle lie on the points 2, 6, 7, 3, B, and C is 4, negative 1. Now, reflect the triangle in the y axis and label each point on the image. So, first, we need to see. How many lines? Okay, so we have here one, two. So we put here, from here we have one, two also. So first put the point. And from this point, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on the opposite side, we draw seven steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this will be your B. Prime. This is your A prime. Okay. And then here we have one, two, three, four from the y axis. So we will also move the same four step to the left. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now we're going, this will be your C prime. So now we're going to draw a line connecting them, okay? So basically this is the image, all right? Okay, so let me erase it, okay? And then we draw the line. So you will notice that the image has the same distance or the same space of from the y axis. Why? Because y is their uh, mirror line. No? Y is the mirror line. How do you know that that's the mirror line? It says reflect the triangle in the y axis. The word in the y axis makes this as a mirror line. Okay. Let's say if it is. Uh, in in x in x plus one and x plus two in the center in the x axis so meaning those are the mirror lines that we're going to use okay shape a is reflected in the y axis give the coordinates of the reflected shape so where is the y axis so this is the y axis the vertical line so we are going to reflect it on the opposite side Okay, 
So what are the coordinates? So let's mark it. Okay, these are the points. Okay, we will name the coordinates. So here we have two, two. Here, this is three, three. All right, and this point is three, four. Okay, let's let's draw the bracket so that uh, the, the numbers will be contained. And at this point, we have five X and four. And then here we have five X and two Y. Okay. So these are the coordinates of the point. Now, the original shape is now reflected in the X axis, give the coordinates. So let's draw the shape in the X axis. So the X axis is here now. So the, we will draw the shape here. Okay, as the image. Okay, so this is the shape. All right. So we will name this as A prime. So we, we identify the coordinate. So this will be negative two, negative two. Here we have negative five, negative two. And down below is negative five, negative four. Here we have negative three, negative three, and negative four. And here we have negative three, negative three. So these are the coordinates that we have, okay, that we have now, okay? So let's uh, name them. So we have negative five, negative two, okay? Negative two, negative two, negative three, negative three, negative three, negative four, and negative five, negative four. All right, can you follow? Dylan reflects its shape in the y-axis and draws the vertex A. In this new position, he then reflects the new shape in the x-axis and draws the vertex A in its final position. After both reflection, vertex A has now moved to three, negative two. Is Dylan's is Dylan correct? Explain your answer. So this is A, right? The shape is reflected. So once it was reflected, this will be uh, in this position. So let's count from, from the x-axis. We have one, two, three, four. And here one, two, three, four. So they have the same position. Now, now let's let's have the next one. All right, so now A is reflected. So A now from the y-axis, right? uh, from the y-axis, one, two, three, so one, two, three. So if the shape has been reflected to the y-axis, to the y-axis, okay, this will be your A, and this becomes your A prime, right? So when you reflect this on this one, so the position of A becomes negative three, negative four. Here, three, negative four is the position of A, the position of point A, yeah, point A. Let's focus on point A. Now, he then reflects the new shape in the X axis and draws vertex A in its final position. The final position should be negative three, four. But what Dylan says, it's negative three, two. So he is not correct. Dylan is not correct because the point A must be in negative three, four, right? Is this clear? Okay, let's move on. 
So B LAN is incorrect. He has given the coordinate for the wrong vertex. The vertex A is now at negative three, four after the reflection of the in the X axis. Okay. Now the vertices of a triangle lie on the points four, four, seven, negative one, and two, negative six. Now Reflect the triangle in the x-axis and label each point on the image. Oh, wait. The x-axis now is this one. No? Now, this is the x-axis. This is the problem. How are you going to reflect it? Simple. Okay. First, remember how are we going to do, like what we did. Now, we count the distance of each point from the axis. Since we are talking about the x-axis, we will count their distances for from the x axis. So let me, let's me let me use the red one. So let's start with a. So from the x axis, a is one, two, three, four. So we reflect the shape here one, two, three, four. So this will be your a prime. Now let's go for letter B. Okay, letter B is here now. So this is one step from the X. So we will move one step from the X. So this will be your B prime. And for letter C, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we count here one, two, three, four, five, six. So this will be the position of your C prime. Now let's connect the point. Okay, so this will be your A. That will be your B. Okay. That will be your C. Okay, so this is now the new position of the, that is the new position of the shape. Let's remove, remove, so that you will see. Okay, so look at the shape. So this will be the, the new position, okay? Okay, all right. Now, okay, but it says here, the reflection should be in Y is equals to X. And lay, okay, so what I did is actually for uh, Y axis. Okay, now let's remove this one. Now, since the indicator says, uh, since the instruction says we need to reflect the line in Y is equals to X. So what do we do now is we form the line Y is equals to X, meaning that is the half diagonally of the Cartesian plane. Now to draw this point, let us now mark the point of A. So this is A. So it, A prime will also stand on the same position. This is A prime. Just like what we did, we count also for the position of X and Y. Uh, I mean, the position of B and C. All the points, we will count them. So for B, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. However, since, the, since our mirror line is diagonal, we need to uh, draw the line uh, to, uh, towards, up, uh, towards uh, the top because we draw it horizontally. When the, when the mirror line is diagonal, we will also move diagonally or align to the diagonal, to the, line or to the mirror line diagonally. So if it is horizontal, the opposite of that is vertical. So how many how many points? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No? So we're going up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is now your B prime. And then your C prime is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's clarify. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this will be your C prime. Okay. So if we are going to connect the point, okay, so let's start from A. This will be now your shape. Okay. A while ago, I showed you how it was reflected in the X axis. Now it is reflected in Y is equals to X. So this is now the reflection. Let's remove. Okay, so that you will not get confused. So the shape goes like this. All right, so the coordinate of A is A prime is four, four also. Now the coordinate of B, let's, let's name the coordinate. The coordinate of B will be one, negative one, seven, and C is negative six, two, all right? So that is now the image of the original triangle, all right? Now Frankie draw the shape, draw the shape the, in the grid. He reflect the shape in Y axis and then in the X axis. Why his image is incorrect? Now, why do you think is the image is incorrect? Okay. So first, he draw the shape in the Y axis. So it should be here now. The shape should be here. Okay, let's draw it. The shape should be here, okay. Okay, this, must, this will be the shape. Okay. Because he, she, uh, he draw it in the Y axis as the mirror. Now, when you draw it in the X axis, the shape should go the opposite side, no? It should be downward, okay? The space should be at the bottom, okay? That should, the space should be here, no? Okay. Right, the white one, the white one should be here. And the black one should be here, right? Okay, so this should be the white one. Okay, so this must be the shape. So we already answered the question, question number two. Now for question number one, uh, Explain why his image is incorrect. Okay, his reflection, his reflection in X axis, X axis must be drawn opposite. Okay, so that must be the reflection, all right? Now it's your turn to work. You can pause this video and try to answer this. Harry draws the image of the reflected shape in the grid. He accidentally erased the original shape. Write down the coordinates of A, B, C, D. The original, no, it's the original. No. Now first, before you do that, it's difficult if you will not draw the shape first. So you draw the shape first, okay? Right, let's draw the shape. Okay, so the shape will go like this, right? So this will be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this will be the shape, okay? So this is your original shape. So this is your A. Sorry, sorry, this will be your B. Okay, let's change it. This is your B. This is your A. This is your C, and this is your D. So A is four, two. B is one, one. C is four, negative three, 
and D is one negative two. One negative two. Okay. Now the diagram shows three squares of the originated grid. Hussein didn't complete the reflection. Draw the reflection of the shape of the grid. Okay. To draw the shape of this, okay. So we will be needing a uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, a square. Okay. So let's draw. So this is the shape. All right. Okay. Okay, this is how you're going to draw the image, okay? So this is now, this will be like this. Okay, I will explain after I draw, okay? Be careful in making a drawing. Use ruler so that your, your work will be very nice. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's like an M. No? <laughs> okay. Now, why did I use that one? So first, I'll, I'll go from the point where they meet. I move to the left. So the opposite of that in diagonal will be going down. Then I move up, then going to the right. Then I move to the left, then going down move up to the right, then I move to the right, then I move up, and then move down, then move to the left. So now, as you can see, if the, if the axis is diagonal, you're going down, becomes moving to the left. You're going up, means moving to the right. Okay? Now, any question? Is it clear? Now, if it is clear, then you can move on to your next activity. Jacob reflects his shape in the x-axis and draws vertex x in its new position. He then reflects the new shape in the y-axis. So let's have this one first. First, let's reflect the shape in the x-axis, okay? So this is, the A has one, two distances from the x-axis. Oh, wait. From the x-axis first, now I'm drawing it in the y. Sorry. Now let's move to the x-axis. So A has one, two, three, four. So we move one, two, three, four. So this is the new position of A. So let's name it as A prime. So when we draw the shape, it goes like this, all right? Okay. Now, he then reflect, he reflects the new shape. This is the new shape, which is our A prime, in the Y axis. So this is your A. It's, it has one, two distances from the Y. So we make one, two distances from the Y also. So let's make this one as A double prime because this is already the second image. And then we draw the shape, all right? And this is now your new shape, okay? After both reflection, vertex A has now five negative three. Now, do you think the answer of Jacob is correct? He said, after reflection, A has move five, negative three. So if you're going to find the location of the reflection, it is now on A has a coordinate of two, negative four. So Jacob, Jacob is in correct. Okay. Now, is it clear, huh? Okay. Now, let's go now to your independent practice. Now, this, I want you to answer this and then 
post your answer in the Google Class Drive folder, or you can send it to me to email. Now, I will require you to answer this because it is very important for you to understand how the reflections are made. Okay, to make sure that you understand how the reflections are made. All right. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching and uh, listening to this video. But don't forget to do your homework. Answer independent practice of this uh, PowerPoint and submit it to me through your email, uh, through my email or through the Google Class Drive folder. So see you guys next time for our next exciting video. Bye-bye.